Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Tricky Maths Part 54. The areas of the faces of the above rectangular prism are shown. What is the volume of the prism? So here we are. We have the area for each of those faces and the faces that are opposite have the same area. So if you want to solve this problem you can pause the video now I will go on to the next slide now and we will discuss the solution. So here's your chance to pause the video. Okay, so if we have L for the length, W for the width, and H for the height. And I've also repeated those here. So let the measurements of the prism be L, W and H. So H times L equals 45, H times L is 45, W times L equals 27, so W times L equals 27, and W times H equals 15, W times H equals 15. So now we have these three equations. So we call them equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. So from equation 1 we have H equals 45 over L. So for here, we just divide both sides by L. So that gives us H equals 45 over L. Substitute this value into equation 3. So the 45 over L, we substitute it into equation 3, into this one here. So when we see H, which is there, we just put 45 over L. And that's what I've done here. So 45W over L equals 15. Multiply both sides by L to give us 45W equals 15L and we simplify to get 3W equals L. So and that's equation 4. So remember equation 2 was W times L equals 27 and we had L equals 3W for equation 4. So see how L equals 3W, very straightforward, we substitute that into equation 2. So wherever we see L in equation 2, we substitute 3W. So W by 3W equals 27. 3W squared equals 27. W squared equals 9. Therefore W equals 3. Now W is plus 3 here because it's a length. You can't have a negative length. So W is 3. So we remember that. The W is 3. So if W is 3, we have that 3 times L equals 27. So 3 times L equals 27, so L must be 9. Okay, so L must be 9. And we already know that W equals 3, so 3 times H is 15. So 3H is 15, so H is 5. So we have the length is 9 the width is 3 and the height is 5 and those measurements are in centimetres so to find the volume you just multiply those together so 9 times 3 times 5 is 135 cubic centimetres so that's a, an excellent little problem again it involves knowing how to calculate the area of some flat faces basically areas of, tri uh, of rectangles also the volume of the prism it also involves some work on simultaneous equations. So I hope you enjoyed that and I wonder if you actually solved it yourself.